everyone welcome to my channel being you now thank you so much for being with me here today today i'm doing aries weekly reading so this is for aries sun moon rising and venus if you have aries placements this reading is for you if this doesn't resonate head over to the videos tab you'll find yourself somewhere in there today i'm doing something really really amazing and epic i am also going to bring in the halloween um energy so i have the halloween which is oracle deck here with me today so i will be pulling messages from that divine abundance but i am bringing my own decks back i kind of miss the vibe let me know in comments if you love the og these are the ogs that i've been working for oh my goodness a very very long period of time i created this right when i started my channel um so let me know in comments because i know a lot of new people have joined the channel so i always am really excited to connect with new subscribers my viewers and hear your thoughts as well so i'm bringing the ogs back and i'm working with this so let's get into it this is for the week of the 28th of october to the 3rd of november like how am i even doing this reading i can't even believe that i'm talking november already okay so let's see four cards for your overall energy so i will be putting specific cards for money career finance as well as love so for those of you that are new that have just joined welcome this is this is the format so we're working with how many five different decks here oh okay that's a lot all right we've got some bonus cards all right we'll just take them we'll take them spirit wants them so i like to keep them stick stick to four but anywho let's see king of cups the sujolite is the crystal you can see the energy of sujolite coming through um king of cups this is a week very spiritual week by the way i'm just picking up this energy this guy he's wearing crystals he's got a crown i love the can you see that he's got a crown bracelet so that's pretty cool and um, there's a lot of purple so purple is giving me the energy and vibe that really pay attention to your intuition this week you will be getting a lot of intuitive downloads you will be getting guidance through your intuition so make sure you're making time for that but the king of cups it's also a great card of emotional healing so you might be, you know, because we do have the new moon, which is happening. Is it happening this week? Let me see. Just very cool. So very, very spiritual card. Great for heightening your intuition, tapping into your spirituality, your gifts, um, and also healing, energy healing, chakra balancing. So if you want any of those, all the links uh, and information is in the description box. By the way, I decided to extend the 50 percent off telephone readings till the end of the month so it's my halloween special and then it's going to disappear so if you are still on the fence wanting to hop on a call with me to get a tarot reading now is the time because this deal is going to end okay the hermit yeah this is the card so this week aries your focus is very much on yourself your journey your spiritual growth and ascension i mean look I'm not surprised that this has come through, particularly after that um, super full moon we had as well, you know, in your sign last week. So it's um, depending whenever you're watching this, of course. So, you know, a lot of you probably felt like the energy would be to the lead up. And whilst, you know, the days after you felt like you had this extra energy out of nowhere and it was probably it was just running on more and more energy because energy creates energy, right? But then at some point in time, now you're just feeling like now, you know, it's it's like, I don't feel like saying the crash, but it's like, you know, then it's, it's it, say you went for a wedding, the lead up to the wedding, excitement, excitement, you go to the wedding excited, but as soon as the wedding's over or, or, or the function is over, you feel like, wow, where did I get all that excess energy from now? I just need to regroup. So that's the energy, nothing negative, very positive. I feel like this is you just honoring your needs. So honor your needs, honor yourself. If you're looking for chakra balancing, energy healing, all the links are in the description box. By the way, I've changed the description box quite a bit. So everything you ever desire is in the description box. You don't have to go anywhere. It's all below. Okay. I can't, I, I can't make this up. I take myself and my life seriously. This is your affirmation. Because the hermit is about completing, is focusing on your most important priority, which is about you. Okay. So this is, I take myself and my life seriously. So the Hermit card is also Virgo energy. Wow. The Hermit and the Hierophant. Okay. Very big spiritual week. 
This is crown chakra and third eye energy. So somebody here needs some um, chakra balancing in your crown chakra and third eye. Maybe you can't see things clearly. So how do you know if you are someone that needs that? If you're feeling constantly confused, exhausted, feel like you're not getting the clarity, don't know which way to go in life, um, struggling to connect with your intuition. These are all sort of signs that chakra balancing will help you to open up those pathways. Now, this is so delight. Again, look at this. Look at all these images. To me, this looks like the, well, not looks like, this is the brain, this is the heart. And can you see that? It's almost like in a heart shape. This is about bringing that balance between heart and brain. So I feel like this is, again, talking about maybe because your crown chakra is blocked, you can't really see what your heart is trying to tell you. So there is this conflict between the heart and the crown chakra. So your heart chakra could also be blocked. I'm just going to read out what um, this soda light is all about. This to me is saying that Aries, you are re ready to build new structures because the Hierophant is also about belief system and structures. And the conflict can be that your heart wants something different to what you have grown up with, the belief systems that you have grown up with, which is creating that imbalance in your crown chakra because that's what you've been told and ta taught all your life, but your heart desires more. And Aries being Aries, being the fool, you are unique. You are you want what you want. So your affirmation is my contribution makes a positive difference in the world. Yeah, your contribution makes a positive difference in the world. And I just want to say something else. There is a key. I feel like actually whatever it is that you're going through, you are going to be the one that's opening doors for the generations to come because you are that leader. Okay. So really beautiful energy, a lot of higher chakras. The high priestess, I can't even make this up. Labradorite, one of my favorite crystals to work with. Very, very much a week of spirituality, spiritual growth. So maybe if you are thinking of doing like a course, maybe you're doing a Reiki course or, um, you know, studying higher learning. I know I am uh, because I just, this. when you're listening to this, by the time you listen to this, this is the weekend. This weekend, I'm taking three days off to actually invest in myself. I'm going to be, there is a guy coming from the United States and I am actually going to study three days of intense how to do um, cord cutting, like his way of doing it. I have my own ways of doing it, but his modality of cord cutting, black magic removal, really working with these powerful tools. So I am dedicating three full days of training. And so for me, it's all higher chakras. You know, it's connecting with divine, getting those downloads and working with new tools. That's about opening. And Lepidorite, High Priestess. This is about re revelation. You know, look at how she doesn't have a roof above her head in the traditional tarot. But look, there is an eye. So it's like looking at things from a higher perspective. This is the week of looking at things from a higher perspective, Aries. Okay, so let me just get your affirmation. Lots of major arcanas. I would not, this, if you need time out this week, I would honor that. Honor what you need during this time, Aries. This is all about your intuition. My intuition is guiding me every day towards the best for me. Yep, towards what's best for me. My intuition is guiding me every day towards what's best for me. This reading, you may also feel elevated because there's a lot of high level, high vibrational energy. Wow. Hangman. Look at that. Look at that hangman. I love this deck because look at that hand. Very lightly just holding onto the string. So it's not this hangman. Her hands are free. She can unbound herself if she chooses. She's got, look, look at those two different colors. It's like, which way do I go? And all these skulls, that's to me, it's just, and the snake is just saying that you are keeping yourself bound. There is something that you are choosing not to see. And all these above cards, I mean, like, look, there is the eye in that card. There is the eye in that card. There is the key in this card. It's almost like you just need to unlock yourself. It's about unlocking the potential. And now we've got four major arcanas. Let's see what the hangman affirmation is for you. I love this. I am open to new ways of perceiving myself and the world. Absolutely. And I, I like all third eye and crown chakra. That's what's going on here. So someone definitely needs a chakra balancing session. If you have been feeling nudges, pulls, that's how you're going to 
unbound yourself or release yourself or free yourself whichever way oh my goodness lovers lovers okay with a hierophant and the lovers this is soulmate relationship and also high priestess and hierophant right next to this these are divine counterparts high priestess and the hierophant divine counterparts so if you're looking for soulmate love particularly with the lovers card this is a great time to manifest this is a great time to really focus on what what is it that you desire look at that beautiful 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 soulmate energy claim this in comments if that's what you want soulmate love tourmalated quartz okay gave me a bit of a smoky quartz vibe but it doesn't say that so maybe you could work with smoky quartz as well if that's your thing um let me find the lover's affirmation there we go i'm acknowledging and acting on my true feelings yeah this is about your truth this is about you unlocking your truth and your truth could be you know different ways of doing things or in this context i also feel like maybe you know in your the background you grew up with, with that you can only fall in love with this particular background or something you know or culturally this is the only way to do it and you want to do something spiritually or you you have this education system but you want to be an entrepreneur for example so this is about following your heart this is all about aligning listening to your heart but there is some level of because your for higher chakras your crown and um, third eye crown particularly is not in balance it's hard for you to listen to what your heart is saying okay all right let's go to money career and finance messages for you this week money career finance money career finance for this week for my aries oh my goodness i love this gifts yes gifts the hierophant could be also the hierophant and um high priest could also be gifts you know self-love self-care gifts you'll be receiving gifts so claim this in comments oh my goodness congratulations employment congratulations someone is getting if you've been waiting for a job that's you know you're getting that structure and stability back in your life maybe you can't see it maybe it's hidden from you at the moment and success yes success is yours you are successful claim it let's see what we have for love and romance love and romance messages for my beautiful glorious gorgeous aries love and romance messages these there's a lot that wants to come out third party situation listen to your intuition or i feel like this you if you are someone that's already been through this um maybe you've closed your heart off to soulmate love now because you feel like oh i don't want to go through this again because you felt left let down so heart healing is important for you if this is for you yeah because it resulted in disappointment so be very careful of being in that energy i feel like this is not new for a lot of you maybe for a small percentage of you you navigating through this now but for a big percent percentage of you i feel like you were disappointed and you had a, you 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 know I'm, I'm getting the image of a broken heart so um if you went through that spirit is saying is that focus on your spirituality focus on your truth the rest will rearrange itself okay that's how you're going to heal wedding congratulations employment and wedding like everything is yours aries everything is yours for the taking so go for it and stable yeah this is a stable connection so here's this here's the deal if you are going through this you know whatever disappointment or a third party situation spirit is saying do the healing work do the inner work this whole reading is about that that's how you're going to manifest that job that's how you're going to going to manifest this wedding okay so if you want these blessings to come through and you're wondering why it's not happening because you haven't really done the inner work because you need to be at that vibration to attract that okay so let's get you some messages from the the, the Halloween deck is what I'm calling this. I can't make it up. Look at that. Meditation for creativity. There you go. And doesn't that look like Aries energy? All that fire. This is giving me the magician vibes. And it's saying meditation for creativity. Yeah. So whatever you're like, if, you, if, you're, if you're saying to me, oh, but being you now, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing, what I'm meant to be doing. Sit in stillness. 
the information ideas will flow through. That's one thing with Aries, because we are go, 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 go. We don't realize how much we need the stillness. Because the more stillness we have, the more energy we gather for the next round of go, 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 go. Do you hear what I'm saying? Oh my God. Claim this in comments. Accept love. You are cooking up a love storm, which is going to bring you to a commitment. Whether or not you want a wedding, but this relationship is nothing like what you've endured. This is your manifestation. This is giving me the magician vibes. I did say that for this here. But this for sure, because it's almost like you put all the ingredients in the pot, you've got all the resources, and now you've manifested. This is giving me the manifestation vibe. Okay? Wow. Claim it in comments. Accept love. Imagine and envision. That's it. Journaling. Maybe someone here needs to journal. Go wild. Look at that. Dollar signs. Crown. Unicorn. Castle. What is it that you want? What is it that you're imagining? I can see a ring. Oh my gosh, there is a ring. Love it. Butterflies. There's, oh my God, prosperity fish. We've got love. We've got four leaf clover. What is it? What is it? Let me know in comments. I am getting so excited. I'm getting so excited. I'm really feeling hot doing this reading. I'm loving it. Love, love, love this read. All right. Let's finish off and let me know if you're enjoying the OG cards that I created. Um, and they've been with me. I just probably only stopped them doing maybe a month ago. And today's spirit was like, nah, bring the OGs back. We need them back. So I was like, okay, let's do that. And I'm happy. I, I love the, like, there was a lot of intention and meditation that went into creating this day, creating these decks. Release resentments about money. So this could be to do with if you are disappointed with your money or if you are not getting the job or the level of income that you want. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool that you can use to better the world and shift. This shift will help you attract and support golden opportunities. Absolutely. Amen. I can't even. Double, triple confirmation. Employment change. Someone's getting a job. Someone's getting a better job. Someone's getting a promotion. Congratulations. This is amazing. Your career path is taking you to a in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams. Prioritize passions and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way. You absolutely are Aries. Claim this in comments. If you desire a chakra balancing energy healing or take advantage of the 50% off phone readings that I have at the moment. All the information is in the description box. And remember, Aries, the power that is you by being you know. I will see you next time.